Hi everybody, uh, welcome to, uh, to this scratch build. I'm just going to show you a little a bit what I've done here. This is for you who know the Zephyr 2 and uh, the wings from Crash Test Hobby. This is a scratch build, pretty much the same, and it's costing almost nothing. And it's really fun to fly, I hope, because this is the Maiden. Uh, what we've done here, I'll take the plane and bring it a little closer. Uh, this is a wing made out of XPS foam. Blue foam you might call it. Here in uh, Norway you will see that on the back side it's actually orange. The density is 300. Um, it's two wings each with a 37 centimeter root cord. Uh, the tip cord is 24 centimeter and I got an 11 inch blunt nose in the middle. Um, here uh, it's two batteries. I've got my FPV, my camera transmitter, on for the moment. I'm just using a very, very cheap mixer for uh, the V-tail mix, aileron mix here. And we uh, got a Turnigy engine, 1400 kV, and fitted with a 11 inch propeller. 40 amp ESC, it's enough for the moment. This is a great slow plane immense amount of lifting capacity again I hope because I have no ID uh, <laughs> but the calculations so far show it uh, what I'm going to do is uh, together with this little report where you're going to see the maiden field I'm going to put out the, the PDF with the airfoil which is a MH62 airfoil and uh, you might have an interest of looking at the Norwegian video uh, you're not going to understand anything of what I'm saying, but you are going to at least see how this is burnt out using only a battery charger and a copper, no, I'm sorry, a steel tread, a steel string attached to one side of the burning table. So uh, let's power up and uh, check everything. And we're going to do the maiden flight on this one. Uh, right now, the CG is adjusted so that um, that it's a little tail heavy. Uh, the engine 1400 kV on this plane because it's weighing in at almost 3 kilos, 2.798 kilos. I'm not sure how much that is in pound but it's quite heavy. Uh, so at the moment I'm doing a quite under power engine. The idea here is to make it with two twin engines con uh, with counter-rotating propellers and uh, then it's going to make an awful lot of noise. But um, anyway, I got a neighbor to bug, so uh, let's uh, see how it's doing. <laughs> Coming in for a close-up, it's flying awfully nice. It's slow, great stability. Try to get this Christy. Christy is uh, doing the camera here for me. Coming in, uh, trying a low pass. It seems quite nice. Uh, it's a very stable wing. Are you able to get it up there, Christy? And this is just a glide. No sound whatsoever, but it's also a calm day. Almost no wind. Just 
Jesus coming in for another pass. I'm going to make that a very long one. Try to zoom. Okay, it's going to be the last swing. I'm going to land it, hopefully straight in the camera. So, how about a nervous camera guy? Now you should zoom out totally. And I'm going to uh, come in for uh, the landing. Here we go. This is getting awfully... Oh, fuck, it's gliding a lot. It's gliding very much. Ah! They're always doing like that. I got that one too. You got that one? <laughs> when things were flying out of it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's awkward to do on the web, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, because the major thing here is actually not things flying around, but things staying exactly like they should be. The plane is so heavily reinforced with carbon fibers, and uh, you saw the batteries flying around here. We you gotta look for them. Uh, and you will see that there is nothing in the plane which is cracked or anything. Uh, you will see that even not the front of the plane is finished yet. We're going to have some decorations like on the ailerons. Um, we just taped, we didn't even glue in the transmitter and uh, the, um, the batteries. So I'm uh, really very content with myself now. So and now I'm going to broadcast it. Good luck, guys. You will find the PDF on how to make the airfoils and also a link for the Norwegian episode. Maybe one of uh, the guys have the patience to translate it and make some subtitles for you. Then you're going to have an awful lot of fun for awful little money. So good luck. Right.